personally I've seen retail uh, adopted the fastest. Um, that's more um, because they want to provide new services to their customers or they want to give the customers a, a better experience or, or give them facilities uh, to do more and interact more with their customers. First, we need to think of uh, an IoT solution uh, isn't a bunch of sensors, or, or not necessarily a bunch of sensors. It can be anything. It can be a person, it can be a database, it can be uh, a separate system. Um, what the solution needs to do is take data from those different data points uh, and use that data in a meaningful way. Uh, the best IoT solution uh, has got to be a large um, sushi chain. So their issue uh, was around um, waste and waste management was a big issue for them. Uh, accuracy of billing was a big issue as well, uh, but probably the biggest issue was around what they sold. So they knew they bought a lot of, of products and stock as in rice and fish, uh, but when they looked at their bills, they, they'd sold a lot of colored bowls and dishes, uh, and there wasn't really any correlation between the two. So I designed a solution that, that fixed all of those requirements. It was an issue around uh, they needed near field and far field technology from an RFID point, which is, is very hard to do. I did a lot of, of troubleshooting there uh, and a lot of, of testing and trying out different RFID tags and RFID antennas and readers and sensors. So getting over that initial technology hurdle uh, was my biggest problem, well, my first problem. I then had to build a software solution uh, that, that, that brought all that data in uh, and looked at the different um, problems and how that data could solve that problem. So waste reduction uh, was built around looking at what was uh, consumed and what was taken by customers and when it was taken, running that through an Azure machine learning engine that pulled uh, demand prediction back down. Uh, billing accuracy was increased uh, by uh, a solution that I designed that, that scanned all the bowls and then pulled that data and sent it directly to their POS system. Uh, and then finally, um, the production of food uh, was done because I designed a solution that was very much like the waste and demand prediction, uh, but giving it back to the chef so the chef could see exactly what was on the bell, when it was on the bell, at, every given, at any given moment, but also what they should be on the bell at that given moment as well, so what they should be preparing. So uh, I've seen a number of uh, projects been done uh, and, and a number of proof of concepts and, and trials and proof of technologies almost. Uh, and I've also seen a lot of silo solutions where um, individual sensors or projects or data points have been pulled into a single system. And although it's been useful and it, it's proved what it needs to prove and it's done what it needs to do, uh, I think the next step for IoT is going to be bringing all those different data points or solutions or systems together.